Most people in life look at, I am in charge of my life. I can walk anywhere down the street in America and expect some safety. I can go to my home, take a nap, go to sleep, and expect that the locks work. I can presume that my family is not full of jerks who are going to attack me, harm me, physically assault me, sexually assault me, or be inappropriate with my clothing or my property. Unfortunately, however, there are some very immature people who do not recognize where their rights in the world begin and end. There's always that old guy that wants to teach a young whippersnapper a lesson. Well, if they're a teacher, if they're a communicator of rights, then people are going to use clever means and clever ways to modify thinking of a young, immature mind. The young, immature mind says, I want to do this because I feel like doing it. I'm going to cross the line into your life and abuse you and seduce you, not at all, but really try to harm your life because I don't like what I'm hearing through gossip about your life. You see, police officers that don't want to do their job often use mobs and community members to harm a life. They often will lie and steal and cheat a person out of their human rights. Human rights and every fucking law in the world has the right to privacy, the right to medical rights that are also a form of privacy rights, and the right to all sorts of privacy in our life with return with regard to who we marry, who our children are, and literally anything that lines up on a tax form is private. But there are people in the police force who are too immature in their hearts, soul, and mind that literally go into a community after someone has moved there. They're so full of jealousy and hatred and, well, sexual inappropriateity that they just don't know how to behave. And they destroy someone's medical rights. I guarantee that these people have done something illegal. I guarantee they've done something immoral. But they want to get away with it. So to get away with their lie, they start to sell a story to other people. And that creates a stalking mob. A mob is actually just making you more liable for whatever you've done, whatever you've sold in secrets or trade secrets or confidentiality or privacy things. And my guess is if you're not truly, intimately, officially welcomed and enfolded into that human being's life, then you are fully, 100% legally liable, not only to God for your lie about who you're in control of, as a lord of all, but you are fully, legally, financially, and fiduciarily, and any other concept of the law, liable to the person that you've been harming all along.